I also would like to illustrate it on a chart. So this is your right hand side buttons. If you have three buttons, three rows or 30 buttons concertina, ignore the top row, which would be the feathers. Consider second, as I explained, uh, one but first button, second button, and third button of the upper row, and then second, third, and fourth button on the lower row. I will explain why I did not go here, because there is actually one skip note. After E, there is the next note, F here, but let's do not talk about it. This, there is a reason for it, but for to start playing, all you need is actually this scale from B to E note, so which is almost like one and a half octave. Why I am not recommending to use the entire upper row? The answer is simple. If you would continue upper row to those to button fourth and fifth, you would actually come to so-called irregularity in notes. Uh, and I will explain why, why this irregularity comes um, later. It's easier to continue from after playing B, C, D, E, F, G, a, B, C, D, E, uh, um, basically changing the rows. And what it, what it allows you is actually its push and pull comes uh, in sequence. So what I would recommend you to, uh, to do is to basically play exercise stepping up and stepping down those notes and now try to close after exercising this try to close your eyes and do the same Uh, I recommend you to skip if you don't want to listen to that or you know park this information for later please know that after E on a fourth on a fourth button there is a G instead of F which I was referring as an irregularity and F is on a fifth button but ignore this this for now uh, you may ask why would then the designers of concertina do such a complication and there is actually a simple answer. If we continue altering notes uh, on squeeze and expand, you can see that the C note ends up on opposite sides. So basically, if you would like to play lower C and upper C, you wouldn't be able to do because they would come one would come on push and the other would come on expand. But again, it's only important later uh, for now. Playing alternative sounds is the best thing to do. If for any reason your melody that you want to play uh, <clears throat> transposed uh, on these notes, no matter what note you start, we add three buttons. Uh, basically on the left hand side. I told you in general don't start with the left hand side. But now I'm doing sort of exception to this. So for any reason, if you cannot play your favorite melody with those buttons on the side, which I already indicated, one, two, three, upper, two, three, four, lower, then I will add uh, three more buttons, which are basically upper row, button three, four, five. And basically, if you look at the, 
on the left hand side it's it looks like this so ignore if you have three button rows ignore the upper row uh, you don't need it in two in 20 button concertina i still have those two rows this middle and uh, lower and then uh, i still ask you to forget about all the other uh, notes keep in mind that those three buttons in upper row in a 20 button concertina c d e f g a so let's plate. three more buttons, uh, close your eyes and do the same thing. Actually, to let you know, I recorded more than a hundred uh, maritime tunes and all of them I can just play with those buttons and uh, if the melody does not fit, you know, if you start from one button and you cannot, uh, uh, you know, you cannot find the buttons because of the sharps and flats, transpose the melody. That means it starts from the next button and see if it fits. If it does not fit, uh, then, you know, start from the next button. Uh, what I did uh, in uh, this more than 100 uh, maritime tunes recording, I gave you the uh, tune uh, name, uh, name at least from the song that I, I know of, and also at the end of each, uh, I basically gave you what is the range of the tune. So this will help you out to basically uh, not follow the notes, but at least you know that this song, for example, like... Uh, you know, what shall we do with a drunken sailor starts from the specific, it's like a, the upper note, the, the highest range of the notes is from, from that note to the lowest uh, note in, in that range. So then by just following the pattern, uh, you can actually figure out uh, that melody. And as I said, the, one of the tricks to, to learn faster is to close your eyes. In 20 button concertina that does not have the notes all available like keyboard, sharps and flats and for beginner players it usually is adding only unnecessary complexity. It is best to move the melody up and down to fit it into C uh, key scale, getting rid of flats and sharps. This can be done uh, for most of the melodies. With practice this will come naturally. Your fingers will find it automatically. Please note that the key uh, you are playing your favorite melody does not matter at all unless you play it with other instruments, other musicians. Even if you sing, almost uh, if you sing along, most people can sing in at least two octaves. Uh, only for op optimal stage performance, it is important to sing in the range is optimal for you, uh, for your voice. But this is not the goal here. The goal here is to play and enjoy your favorite melodies as soon as possible. 